ever considered how deeply a narcissistic relationship can shake your confidence and self-esteem? It's like a slow, insidious erosion that chips away at your sense of self, leaving you second-guessing your worth and questioning your decisions. It's an experience that can push you into a corner of self-doubt, insecurity, and feelings of unworthiness. But let's pause for a moment. It's crucial to understand that these feelings aren't a reflection of you, but rather, a consequence of being in a relationship where your value was consistently undermined. Now, why is this acknowledgement so vital? Because it's the first step on the journey to recovery. It's about recognizing the impact, understanding the damage and saying, yes, this happened, yes, it hurt, but also knowing that it doesn't define you. It's about taking these shattered pieces and starting the process of rebuilding, of becoming whole again. Remember, recognizing the damage is the first step towards healing and transformation. How can you show compassion to yourself, especially after enduring a narcissistic relationship? It's a crucial question that demands our attention. Self-compassion, the act of treating oneself with kindness in times of failure or pain, is a vital practice in the healing journey. Often, we are our own harshest critics, but after a relationship that has eroded our confidence, it becomes even more important to cultivate self-compassion. This means acknowledging our pain, understanding it's part of the human experience and not allowing it to isolate or define us. One effective way to foster self-compassion is through mindfulness practices. By remaining present and accepting our feelings without judgment, we can cultivate an attitude of kindness towards ourselves. Positive self-talk is another powerful tool. It involves replacing critical thoughts with affirming ones, reminding ourselves that we are deserving of love and respect. Embracing self-compassion paves the way for healing and rebuilding your confidence. So let's start this journey with compassion for ourselves today. Having recognized the impact and cultivated self-compassion, how do you rediscover your self-worth and set healthy boundaries? As you journey to rebuild your confidence, it's crucial to reconnect with your intrinsic value. Engage in activities that bring joy and fulfillment. It might be painting, hiking, or simply savoring a cup of coffee in solitude. These moments of bliss remind you of your worth beyond any relationship. Next, let's talk about setting boundaries. These are non-negotiable lines that protect your mental and emotional health. They might include deciding what behavior you will tolerate, how much time you'll dedicate to others, and how you allow others to treat you. Practice saying no when something doesn't serve you and don't feel guilty about it. Remember, your needs and feelings are valid. Setting these boundaries isn't selfish, but rather a form of self-respect. Rediscovering your self-worth and setting boundaries empowers you to take control of your life and relationships. What role does a strong support system play in your recovery? And how can you turn this adversity into a chance for personal growth? Well, a robust network of supportive friends and family is like a safety net catching you when you fall and helping you bounce back. They can provide a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, and the reassurance that you are not alone in this journey. Make an effort to nurture these relationships. Spend quality time with them. Share your feelings and thoughts openly. Their strength can be your strength. Now let's talk about turning adversity into an opportunity for personal growth. The journey to recovery is not without its challenges, but remember, a diamond is just a piece of charcoal that handled stress exceptionally well. Use this experience to learn more about yourself, to redefine your boundaries, and to grow stronger emotionally. Surrounding yourself with support and embracing growth can help you rise from the ashes stronger than ever. How do you navigate the dating scene with newfound confidence and avoid falling into the same toxic patterns? Well, first and foremost, believe in your instincts. They are your internal compass, guiding you towards what feels right and away from what doesn't. Trusting your instincts is like trusting yourself, a testament to your regained confidence. Next, remember the importance of maintaining personal boundaries. These aren't just lines in the sand, but fortifications of your self-worth. They reflect your respect for yourself and signal to others how you expect to be treated. Recognizing red flags is also a crucial part of dating with confidence. These are warning signs that something isn't quite right. Awareness of these signals can help you avoid relapsing into toxic patterns. Approach dating with an optimistic mindset, but remember, caution is not a sign of distrust, but a beacon of self-care. You are now stronger, 
wiser, and more empowered. Dating with confidence means trusting yourself, upholding your boundaries, and knowing you deserve respect and kindness in all relationships.